debate. I am Jeff Rowdy Jake here. He is Michael Mandy, and we are still in the midst of 2008's Eight Films to Die For. And this week, I tell you, I do not need to see the movie Twilight. I've just seen From Within. From you took my line. I called it Twilight, you bum. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I think we both did. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I was as soon as it came on, the first two characters who were on the screen, I said, "Look, it's Twilight." It's freaking Twilight. Yeah, it's, all, it's all filmed in grays and blues, and it's got teenagers who who have who need a comb. Now, <laughs> now I gotta say, you know that uh, uh, Twilight wasn't bad. Actually, I kind of enjoyed it. I'll admit it; I haven't seen it. Uh, you know, a decent I just know flick. about it. This this was a little bit of a trip, Mike. You, you know, it was different than what I expected. What? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, give us the plot. Well, the basic plot of this film is there's this town where. Uh, the religion is very um, predominant, shall we say? There's That's a lot an understatement. Of, there's a lot of townspeople who are very enthused about their uh, religion, mm-hmm. and they tell us about what happened in the past. Was this lady who was obviously either a, a Wiccan or or something along wicca, those wicca, lines? Wicca. Yeah. And uh, they just, they didn't like it, and so they went out to try to convert her and ended up burning her, and so her kids moved away, and, well, the kids came back, and now they're all teenagers and grown up, and it seems that uh, one of them, the first five seconds of this film, uh, this this guy takes out a gun and blows his head off. Well, and- he, he, here's the problem I got with the first kill, okay, right off the bat. You can tell we're going for, like, a PG-13 audience here or something. Mm-hmm. Dude sticks it in his cheek. And shoots out of his cheek. Now, he may have taken a couple molars with that, but that ain't going to kill him. I mean, come on. Did you yep. see where he stuck it? No. If anything, he was going to kill the chick next to him. Because he <laughs> had the gun going this way, you know, yeah. off to the right. I don't know. So, but anyways. First kill didn't do nothing for me. No, of course not. But that sets into motion the fact that all of a sudden, all these people in this town are seeing dead visions of themselves and end up doing something stupid which causes them to die. Now, if you've seen Mirrors, you've seen half of this flick, right? Yes, this film steals, borrows heavily from... (laughs) Steals, borrows heavily. (laughs) From Mirrors. Yeah. With Kiefer. And actually, there is another film in this series of the eight films to die for that also uses this same thing going on with with the Mirrors. But um, I gotta say, Mike, uh, I was not real enthused after watching this one. This one kind of... This one kind of was dragging along and then you had you know it was kind of like almost like the Dawson's Creek a horror film yeah you know know? it it came almost with the townspeople with the pitchforks let's storm up to the house and get them out I was thinking Strangeland for a minute you know Uh the group of people that go and try to lick it uh huh exactly you know led by the the young uh, almost children of the corn like you know the Malachi you know let's get those evil people Malachi yeah, 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 coming for you, Malachi. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, you know, we had a, a, a kind of a star already in this film. We had, we had, what was her name? It's Bruce Willis's daughter, Rumor. Rumor. Now, what a name is that? Now, she's not a rumor. She's reality. She was born, right? I mean, what's going on here? I'm not saying anything bad about her because Bruce is going to come and kick your ass. Was you there a rumor that Demi it. was pregnant? I can't. And is that what? The, I don't get that one. But okay, all right. So she was like. Early on in the film, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, didn't last too long, right? No. But, you know, hey, she got her name in the credits, so Dad's happy. Yep. Okay, good. Well, we don't have a lot. I, I, I don't have a lot on this one, Mike. I mean, it just it was a little drab to me. It, you know, I mean, you I... You remember I, that movie, uh, like, what was it, Blood and Chocolate? The, the, yeah. The teenage werewolf movie? But I got into that a little more, and I did this. Ooh. Kind of, but I mean, this had the same vibe to it. You know, teenagers crying and teenagers in bl- filmed with blue lenses on them, <laughs> and teenagers <laughs> needing a, a comb. I mean, they, what well, is it with teenagers uh, in bad hair? It's a style, you know. It's it's just the style of today, you know, the teenage movie thing. But um, you know, I thought the makeup on like the ghosts, yeah, that was, was kind of creepy. Cool, you know, um, decent makeup, decent acting from Lindsay. Um, yeah, Elizabeth Rice. You know, who was who was kind of cute. You you said she kind of like looked like a young Lindsay Lohan, and her freaking name was Lindsay. Yeah, so that I'm was like, before we found out her character's name was Lindsay. Yeah, oh, wow. So I was tripping like a, on that for a little yeah. while. You know, and then you got uh, you know what's his name? Thomas uh, Decker. He plays John Connor on that TV show, yeah. The Terminator Chronicles. There you go. That's where I'd seen him before. My wife loves that show. Does she? I don't, but she yeah, does. Yeah, I don't know. I'm waiting for the new Christian Bale flick. 
You know, the Terminator 4. Oh. You yeah. know, I'm kind of waiting for that. The one he went off on, you know, did you hear on the radio? Yeah, yeah. I went nuts on, like, one of the cinematographers or something. Yeah, well. Yeah, I'm waiting for that, see if it was all worth it for him to get all up in arms I like thought that. he was pretty good in 310 to humor. I haven't seen that one yet. No? No, I have not. And Check it out. I, I got to do that. I and, recommend and it. I was watching that movie, and I was sitting there going, oh, my God, that's James Brolin yeah. reincarnated. And, and I got, yeah. you know, the thing that I, every time I think of this guy, I think of how he played Batman and how his lips never touched when he was Batman. You know what I mean? Like, I got to talk like this. Yeah, they had to talk like this the whole time. And he did, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I don't know. You know, anytime I think of him now, that's that's what I think of. So, uh, but in this film, you know, I I don't know, Mike. It's not a film to die for. No, this is not a film to die for. You know, it's kind of like, uh, it, it, it's really light horror. Um, it's it's, it's, it's it, kind of a mystical it's deal. aiming for the same audience Twilight's aiming yeah, for. Yeah, with a curse going on and, you know... Without giving too much of it away, I mean, it's just kind of... I, I was just kind of blah. I, I think, honestly, this is going to be a two-star deal Yeah, for me. Yeah. this it, it had a couple of decent jump moments, and that's all this film has for it. It's a jump moment. Well, you know. I did notice that, uh, and I don't know, you know, if all the films are like this... Well, let me put it to you this way. The films that I've watched have all been a 185 to 1. As far as the aspect ratio, the widescreen ratio... This one's in 235 to 1, which threw me off a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because I had the black bars on my screen, which I hate. You know? <laughs> you know? I, I, my screen's a 185 to 1 widescreen. So, you know, I mean, it's just different. Uh, it, obviously, different cinematographer, whole different deal. But, you know, it's just I, I can't get excited about the project. And, and no. I, and I want to be excited about the project. So, I mean, it was it was a little entertaining here and there, but not not to the degree that I expect the from visiting, the films to die for. The visiting female cousin was kind of cool. I liked her. She was wild. She was wild. Uh, yeah, she had some good comments, man. You yeah. know, attitude deluxe. Yeah, she came with the attitude, and she just had these little snide, smart-ass remarks that, yeah. that were just right dead on. So, so far, Mike, would you say that of the, of the three films, that we have done so far, this is going to be on the bottom. Yeah, well... So far. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, It, it just doesn't do much. No, it doesn't move. It doesn't... It doesn't it, I don't it know. It moved a little bit, but yeah. it's like we've seen, you know, the pitchforks in the torches before, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Two stars! All right, two stars. I'm Michael Mandy. He's Rowdy Jeff. We'll talk to you next week when we do another of the eight films to die for at the Horror Debate.